One of the things that I find interesting on the PGA Tour is how astute players and caddies are about the wind direction for the day and where the wind is at the present moment. The way they do that when they get to the range, they look on their weather app. So for example, today the wind is 10 miles an hour out of the north. Then what they do from there is they look on a compass to recognize where that direction is. The reason that's so important is because the force of the wind has such a great effect on the ball that you're really helping yourself and your score if you know where it is at all times. One of the things though, however, that hasn't been met mentioned in golf instruction enough is what to do when we're downwind. What effect does the wind have on the ball when it's downwind? It knocks spin off the ball, which doesn't allow the ball to stay in the air as long. So what I want you to do to hit the ball higher, to help you with that, is to ensure the ball positions forward, you're going to bump your hips to the left, which is going to create a little bit of side bend in the spine, and it's going to allow you to hit a little bit more up on the ball, launching it higher, and ultimately using the wind to your advantage by hitting it further.